My name is Robin Greenwood. I'm an RN. I'm a nurse navigator and I help patients when they receive a diagnosis of cancer. I help them set about a plan that they can follow through the cancer treatment system so that they feel comfortable with the professionals that are available in our area and confident in the treatment that they get here at Ogden Regional. My role in helping the patient receive the information of a cancer diagnosis is that I'm in the room with the doctor when he gives the results to the patient and then when that part of the process has ended we go right into the plan for the patient so that when, when they receive the diagnosis it's shocking to them and things become quite a blur. They often report to me later that they didn't hear much after the point of the, the cancer diagnosis itself. So I put together a plan for them and they tell me later also that when after they've gone through the program and their treatment they often report back that the information they received on that day was so helpful because it lays out for them the plan of all the specialists and who they'll see and when they'll see them and maps to get where they need to go and what further testing they will need. But often in the very beginning it is quite shocking for them and to leave with something in their hand that they can refer to later in a phone contact or a personal contact that they can reach that person to discuss with them after the emotion of it is, has subsided. They find that valuable, I believe. So initially, I help support them through that horrible shock when they receive the diagnosis. And then I do a lot of background work before they actually even know that they have cancer in contacting specialists that um, accept their insurance. And then once they, the patient has received the information, the, the diagnosis, they receive a book with all the specialty appointments made for them. And then my role is to support them through that initially. Often I receive phone calls between consultations. They'll, they'll meet with a medical oncologist and a surgeon and a radiation oncologist. And many times patients will call me in between those appointments and update me because it helps them to have one point of contact somebody that is familiar to them that they can kind of run those ideas past and then many times once they've decided the route of treatment they will choose they will call me and tell me what the plan is and when we'll see them for surgery and then I also help them set up um, follow-up appointments after their treatment sometimes I make them aware of the support system that we have here at Ogden Regional the support groups the patients who have offered to field phone calls, um, questions, the patients who have been through the treatment themselves, um, I can put them in touch with them, I can let them know their, uh, the American Cancer Society contact that they can make to get free wigs or to um, compare treatments with other cancer survivors. very much so. They become for me family and I find myself at the end of the, at the, end of the day wondering how they're doing. Um, often we keep in touch through text or through phone calls. Many of them have my cell phone number. Uh, many of them we just touch base at the support group once a month. Um, sometimes patients, and it varies patient to patient, um, some patients will meet with me and feel that I am part of their treatment all the way through. Others will meet with me and get their plan and they are secure enough and feel confident enough that they kind of put me aside for the rest of their treatment and I've been just kind of a, a jumping off point for them and they're fine through the rest of the system themselves and they form relationships at offices. But many times I keep in touch with patients for years after their treatment. Yeah.
I would say for sure come in and talk with us. I am more than happy to talk with people who are just wondering what services we offer here at Ogden Regional. We have wonderful, we have a very comprehensive cancer treatment program here at Ogden Regional and I can let you know what things we have that may just fill in the gaps of what you've already discovered in the community of cancer treatment here in this area already but maybe we know of things that you haven't discovered yet so definitely come in and talk to me and I'll be happy to give you more information. So when I sit across from a patient they've already met with the doctor and the doctor leaves and then often it's after the doctor leaves that the patient then has a moment to emotionally grasp the information they've been given. And what I tell them is, you can trust that this program is comprehensive. We have everything you need here, or we can help you find it. And there's no need for you to feel like you don't have a contact here in this new world that you've been thrust into. But there are many people that will be along the path of your treatment and if you need some help finding them, I'm the person that you can go to. I will be the one that will provide your roadmap and give you that comfort and knowledge that there's somebody there that's aware of every aspect of your treatment and can help you with the contacts with those specialists. The patient navigator can help make this very unpleasant situation you've been thrust into be as pleasant as possible and as find your care as seamless as possible. What we want and what we help you to do is to put all those specialties together so that you feel that, that you have a cancer plan and that you can find the good that's out there in this situation that you would rather not be in.